Hi everyone, it's me, Clausius. Um, today I wanted to go over a little bit more about some opening guidelines. Um, so I'm going to be trying to share with you some tips, and what I want you to remember is these are more of guidelines. They're not actual rules. You don't have to play this way. Um, but for beginners, it should be good a good rough draft to get your opening up and going and working working together. Alright, for starters, everyone knows to go for the open corners first. Now, I'm going to be going over uh, what comes next. Um, here, we normally approach a star point from a star point next. It's the next biggest move. Or, uh, make the sonar and say. Now, normally this is not as big as this, but this has a spe special purpose. Remember um, the guidelines. The guidelines say that we approach the cor an open corner before going on the side. So, as you can already see, that these are guidelines. You don't have to play this way, but it should be a good rough draft. So, don't neglect moves like these. Just um, try and get some good guidelines going. Alright, so, we don't do moves like these because they're really slow. Um, as I mentioned in my previous video, um, with the star point, you don't try to enclose the corner. The star point's meant for building large framework and getting the big moyo. So, since you're not trying to enclose your corner, then you need to move along the sides. But, open corners before sides. So, this is kind of moving along the side while also threatening to come into White's corner. Or like so. So, approaching a star point is bigger than just moving along the side. Okay, so let's say we do a Joseki. Now, it's a little bit different. For white, approaching corner is big, and it's just as fine. But, what you want to notice here is, for white, after you do the biggest approach the open corner, um, you get kind of this mirror effect. Uh, it looks exactly the same for both sides. So that would mean black has maybe a slight advantage because black went first. Now it's true white does have Komi for this, but you normally just don't like this feeling. Um, so I mentioned before that this move to make the Sandrin say is just as big as approaching an open corner. It's just normally we go for the open corner first. This has some general strategy to it. Okay. So after black gets this, then this becomes a lot even bigger because now he has his big mayo. So white might think to come in instead of approaching the open corner. So approaching the open corner we value as big, but getting a double double side, double wing, is probably bigger than just approaching the start point. So, um, idea here is, approach a Hoshi before the side, but don't let your opponent have a double side bef and approach a Hoshi before uh, going, stopping the double side. Stop the double side before approaching the start point. Alright, so, that's a little bit on that. Now remember, these are just guidelines, so I hope people don't start yelling at me saying that the other one's fine. I know it's fine, but all right, so let's change the opening a little bit. Let's show this. Okay, Komaku, Komaku, star point, star point. All right, here, um, this, um, this is an opening I've talked about before. Um, so here the um, I, the guideline is uh, make a shimari before approaching a corner before approaching a start point. All right, the difference is in a start point it takes two moves to get the whole corner. With a komaku it takes one move and you get the whole corner. So making a shimari we consider bigger than just approaching a corner. Um, so, here you want to make a Shamari with one of these two, but which one? 
Um, this is should be rather easy to figure out. Uh, try and think about it for a second, and which one do you think? Um, this one is bigger than this one, and it's a pretty simple reason why. Uh, let's look at approach here, works with this stone, but an approach here doesn't work with any stone, because black's up here. So, white would prefer to approach this corner than to approach this corner. So, black obviously takes the one that white, white would rather have, and now white's going needs to approach this corner. And it's not, white doesn't feel uncomfortable at all, it's just white would feel better about this one, because now he's working with this stair point. So, fixing the bigger komaku first is worth more. Okay, so now let's change this up a little bit more. Let's play Komaku with white. Black plays. Now, which Komaku, which Shimara do you think is worth more? The answer is Black Shimari. Because this Shimari wants to go along the side and get some good framework. This star point also wants to go along the side and get some good framework. But the star point, the corner is open, so even if white goes along the side, black can still take the corner. But if black goes along the side, white can't just come up and take the corner. Like, black can. So black would have a corner plus an extension, whereas white only has an extension. Okay. So we would approach this komaku before sealing ours. And now, let's say we do a normal joseki. Alright, what's bigger? Playing this move or playing this move? Or approaching this corner somehow? Approaching the Komaku is bigger than extending from a Shimari. Well, this would be extending from Shimari. That one you might start thinking about. But anything less than a five space extension from a Shimari, it's not really worth ignoring. It's definitely not worth ignoring a Komaku, but. It's not always the biggest move. It's not nearly as much as extending five spaces. So, we approach a Komaku before ex um, extending less than five from a Shimari. Okay. So, those are some opening tips. Um, I hope this helps. Um, I hope you can um, develop your opening a lot better. And please subscribe. and. See you next time.